and welcome. This is the news headline on 7TV. Anabra State Governor Chikuma Saludo has gone into partnership with 12 construction companies in a bid to provide 6,000 housing units for civil servants in the state. According to Governor Saludo, part of his campaign promises was to provide affordable housing for both public servants and other members of the public in the state. The Catholic Church in Enugu has its own popular Catholic priest and spiritual director of Adoration Ministry Enugu, Reverend Father A.G. Kimbaka, over his verbal attack on P2B, the presidential candidate of Labour Party for 2023 elections. Mbaka has been trending on social media after his comments on P2B's presidential ambition. The Registrar Joint Admission and Matriculation Board Jam Professor Ishak has described the ongoing industrial action by members of the Academic Staff Union of Universities, ASU, Senior Staff Association of Nigerian Universities, SANU, and Non-Academic Staff Union, NASU, as unnecessary. Olorode stated this in Ilorin Kwara State when JAM, in collaboration with a United States-based agency, Project Cure, presented a multi-billion Naira medical equipment to the University of Ilorin Teaching Hospital, UITH. Reports say the trial of a suspected kidnapped kingpin Chuku Dimeme Onwa Madike, also known as Evans, was on Friday stored due to a fire incident which affected his transportation to an Ikeja Special Offenses Court. Evans is standing trial alongside Joseph Emeka for attempted kidnap of the chairman of Young Shagro Motors, Chief Vicent Obianodo. The understate governor, Rotimi Akaridolu, says government has failed to protect the victims of our attack. The governor stated this on Friday at the funeral mass for victims of the terror attack at St. Francis Catholic Church, Owalua, Owo, understate. Akaridolu, while recounting the terror attack, lamented that the government failed to defend the victims of the attack. A Kitty State governorship election 18 June of 2022. It is the first election under the new Electoral Act. As INEC has promised a free and fair election, we at 7TV went to the street to ask Nigerians their thoughts. Let's hear what they have to say. Surveillance must have been in place, one, that is the first security measures. And during the election, most times they say security is the responsibility of everybody. And uh, that is true, but uh, in election, because of the fact that everybody have where his allegiance lies on, I think government has more responsibility. The, the Electoral Act have been, have been amended in such a way that uh, I think by now we should already get it right when it comes to elections, but the issue has always been the same thing. I think uh, this time around the government should employ every necessary security apparatus that is available to ensure that the election, because to be very honest with you, Nigerians are, are, are kind of getting tired with, with, the, with, the, with the issues that always emanate from during elections. Election violence is not something that should be, be happening in a de democratic setting. I, what is going on now? I think uh, what, I need to, what I need to do to make our election more free and fair is first, I need to you know, improve on this uh, CVR registration because it is very important. You get, it is very important for every, every, every Nigeria who are eligible to vote, for them to get registered and get their voters card because with what is currently happening now, you find out that you know, many people are ready to get their voters card to vote, but they are being denied that opportunity. You know, they're being made to go through here you know, to get just you know, PVC. For the state election, uh, government have to play a very good role by providing adequate security. One, to go together with the community, like traditional rulers, like uh, um, the uh, youth leaders, to enlighten them about uh, uh, um, elections and casting of their vote, time, and uh, the INEC also should uh, put uh, uh, more best. It's not all about going into the electronic uh, vote, but if there's a law that can, that can guide and protect the electronic uh, this thing, it will be good so that they can deal with the ele election offenders. 
on the entertainment scene. Award-winning Nigerian singer Davido says some people thought he used his birthday fundraiser to buy a Lamborghini. The Stan's from Corona spoke about the assumption on the latest episode of The Daily Show with the Trevor Noir, the South African television host. On the foreign scene, the lead Republican negotiator for what would be the U.S. Senate's first gun control bill in a generation has worked out of talks with Democrats. Texas Senator John Conning has played a key role in drafting the framework of a proposed firearms bill following mass shooting in Texas and New York. In sports, Super Eagles coach Jose Pizero has praised Victor Osihem for his leadership qualities and confirmed the Napoli striker as the team's first choice penalty taker. He takes over the role from Odion Ihalo, who last featured for the Eagles against Ghana in March during the 2022 World Cup playoff. That is the news headline and thanks for watching. You can subscribe to our YouTube channel 7FM-TV, like and share our programs. You can also follow us on our social media handles, Instagram at 7TV underscore NIG, Facebook at 7TV Nigeria, Twitter at 7TV underscore NIG.